good my k squad welcome back to another reaction video if you are new here hit that subscribe button for daily videos so we are back again you guys know with some george carlin human behavior shout out to everyone that loves my george carlin reactions if you guys love george carlin make sure you guys hit that notification bell as well because i post the george carlin videos all the time so i want to make sure you guys are notified when i do post all right guys so without further ado let's just get right into this video humans do some really interesting things like, besides killing ourselves, we also <laughs> kill each other. Yeah. Murder. Yeah. And we're the only ones who do that, by the way. We're the only species on Earth that deliberately kills members of our own species for personal gain. Or pleasure. Sometimes it's just fun. <laughs> we're also the only species that deliberately kills members of another species for personal gain. Or pleasure. That's what hunters do. They kill for pleasure. That's yeah. us. Human beings. Interesting folks. Murderers. <laughs> Here's an interesting form of murder we come up with. Assassination. You know what's interesting about assassination? Well, not only does it change those popularity polls in a big fucking hurry, <laughs> but it's also interesting to notice who it is we assassinate. Did you ever notice who it is? Stop to think of who it is we kill. It's always people who've told us to live together in harmony and try to love one another. Jesus, Gandhi, Lincoln, John Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, John Lennon. They all said, try to live together peacefully. Bam! <laughs> That's not funny, but Let yeah. Let fucking head. <laughs> Apparently, we're not ready for that. Yeah, that's difficult behavior for us. We're too busy thinking around, sitting around, trying to think of ways to kill each other. Here's one we came up with. It's efficient, too. Genocide, you know? Killing large numbers of people simply because they don't look like you, they don't talk like you, and they don't have the same kind of hats you do. <laughs> you ever notice that anytime you see two groups of people who really hate each other, chances are good they're wearing different kind of hats. <laughs> Keep an eye on that, it might be important. But anytime there's genocide, there are always mass graves. Right? Every time we kill some dictator and go march into his country, we always find mass graves. Thousands and thousands of dead bodies of people the dictator killed. And everybody over here gets horrified. Whoa, mass graves, mass graves, whoa. Well, shit, what's a guy supposed to do with a couple thousand people he just killed? <laughs> Dick separate holes? Fuck that shit. <laughs> it's labor intensive. Get real. The whole idea of killing a large number of people at one time in one place is convenience. Efficiency. Throw them in the fucking hole. Look at it this way. At least the dictator had the decency to throw a little dirt on them. Give the guy some credit. Dictator's a busy man. He's got a lot on his mind. Like trying to figure out who's planning to kill him. So he can pick them up, put them in prison, and torture them. Here's another one of our interesting, heartwarming behaviors we came up with. Somewhere along the way, torturing each other. You want to hear a really cool torture that the Romans invented? No. They also used it as a form of capital punishment. It's really creative. They would take the guy in question, stuff him in a burlap sack, seal the sack up real tight, and throw it in the river. But, and here's the creative part, inside the sack with the guy, they would put a dog, a monkey, and a snake. Okay? <coughs> a dog, a monkey, and a snake. That's fucking creative. Imagine being inside a burlap sack underwater in the dark, sitting next to a drowning monkey. Think he'd be moving around a little bit? The dog would be going ape shit, we know that. And the snake, well, he'd probably be getting curious about what all the activity was inside the sack. He might do anything. Whatever he did, it would probably involve venom and his teeth. You know what you'd be doing? You'd be praying to God that the snake bit the monkey and the dog ate the snake. <laughs> Pray it. Yeah. Then, then it would be just you and the dog, man and his best friend, drowning together. Maybe before you died, you could teach him a few tricks. Roll over and play dead wouldn't be too difficult, would it? Ooh. Just a thought, just a playful thought. By the way, uh, by the way, I assume you're noticing that all these activities I'm mentioning, murder, torture, genocide, these are all things human beings do, not animals, those creatures we feel superior to. This is us. Here's another one of our spiritually uplifting activities. We don't do this one much anymore, but it used to be really big. Human sacrifice. Mm. I miss that. I miss that. The Aztecs loved human sacrifice. And they were good at it. Well, they got a lot of practice. For instance, right around the year 1500, the Aztecs sacrificed 
80,000 people in one ceremony. Okay. 80,000 people, one ceremony. You know what the occasion was? They were opening a new temple. <laughs> Nothing like religion for a little entertainment, huh? Especially that old time religion. Know how the Aztecs went about their sacrificing? Here's how they did it. They would do it right out in public, right in front of everybody, big town, beautiful city square, 20, 30,000 people looking on. They would take the guy, lay him on an altar, cut his chest open, pull his heart out, and hold it up in the air while it was still beating. Got that? <laughs> cut his chest open, pull his heart out, and hold it up in the air while it was still beating. You know what you call that? Theater. <laughs> that is fucking theater. And although the procedure may have been a little too crude to be considered the first bypass surgery, it could easily be seen as an early form of organ donor program. <laughs> the Aztecs, human beings, just like us. Not too long ago, 500 years, Columbus had already landed. This is just south of here, Mexico. And by the way, those hearts didn't go to waste, did not go to waste. Because right after the ceremony, the royal family, naturally, would enjoy another one of our amusing activities, cannibalism. Ew. Can imagine that, chowing down on another human being. That's you got to be all out of beef jerky, man. You got to be really fucking hungry. But it exactly. happens, doesn't it? Still happens to this day. Bunch of people stranded in the wilderness, run out of pop tarts, got to eat something. Pop -tarts. Might as well be Steve. <laughs> and how do you decide who to eat first? How do you decide who's first on the barbecue rack? You pick on the little guy because he's skinny and he can't fight back, or do you all gang up on the bodybuilder because he got a lot of steaks and chops on him? These are things human beings have to consider. One more of these charming diversions of ours, necrophilia. Huh? Now there's a hobby for you. <laughs> Fucking a corpse. Takes a special kind of guy, don't you think? But it happens, it happens, more than you might think. It happens among humans. Animals don't do that. Animals don't fuck their dead. A rat will do a lot of gross things, but he will not fuck a dead rat. It wouldn't even occur to him. Only a human being would think to fuck someone who just died. We gotta be the most interesting critters on the planet. And then we wonder why a UFO doesn't just land and say hello. <laughs> Yep. Wow. That was a great way to end it. Okay, guys. So that was my reaction to George Carlin human behavior. I mean, he did have a lot of good points in this one, honestly. So this time I won't say he's a grumpy old man, but he's still an older man. And I'm so glad that he was able to like stand up comedy for like a very long period of his life. So shout out to him for that. If you guys have anything that you want to say to me, make sure you guys say it in the comments down below and make sure you guys are being safe and let me know what you guys think about George Carlin and his older years. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.